All right, so here we got Solana on FTX on the daily. As you see, we are still respecting this channel. Check this out. We got this wick all the way down to that line. All right, bounce back up, bounce back up to our purple region, came back down to this purple region, uh, stayed on the range lows, dropped back down, front ran the 21. And we're going to zoom in after we, all right, so medium term trend is bearish. I mean, all your moving averages have negative slopes. They are fanned out. You are in the bearish control zone testing that signal line. MACD does have an upside curvature, though. So we could have some sort of, you know, bullish momentum possibly, possibly come up to the 55. Uh, your BBWP is riding that middle line. You are below that moving average. I mean, you're barely, you're moving down to the right but not as much as your rollover breakdown point here. Let's go to the four hour. I just wanted to show you the overall trend, uh, but let's move on down to the four hour right now. <clears throat> okay, so held down by the 100. You gave up this whole rally, all right? And yeah, so it's not looking too good right now. Uh, you're riding the top of the bearish control zone below that uh, signal line. <clears throat> you're testing the top of the bearish control zone. We're going to find out whether this is just a test and a fake out or whether we enter the bearish control zone. We are on the current tick. MACD. Okay, so negative or positive momentum is decreased all the way to the zero line on the histogram. It looks like you're trying to cross the signal line and the zero line at the same time. BBWP is in the upper zone. Looks like it's contracting a bit. Uh, okay, so as your price action is going down, it's contracting. That is a bullish sign. Uh, so we got a neutral on the RSI, bearish on the MACD, and neutral on the, or uh, bullish on the uh, BBWP. So we did have this resistance on the MACD. <clears throat> this level right here at basically the 0.48 level so we expected some uh nice resistance from that level now your moving averages all have negative slopes your 21 and your 50 if they start to fan out you know we could probably come back down to this 30 dollar level uh or actually the 29 dollar level um okay so let's go to the one hour and let's talk about the bullish and bearish cases. <clears throat> so you had your rollover, had your corrective bounce, and then you plowed through all major moving averages. You're being held down by the 100 as your 21 crosses your 50. Your 21 crossed your 100 or your 200 at the breakdown. All right. So basically on your second breakdown candle, your 21, no, the first, the first breakdown candle you were starting to cross. You're pretty deep in the bearish control zone right now, below that moving average, kind of front ran it. But we could come up and test it. All right, so that's part of the bullish case. Unless we can break that, all right, nothing really has changed. Okay, and it looks like you're having some sort of symmetrical triangle right here which could just be a bear flag. Um, so we'll find out. And that would have a measured move down to the POC point of control on the VPVR. Also, you know, somewhere with these last lows here. Um, your MACD is below that zero line, but your negative momentum is decreasing on the histogram as your MACD loses its downside curvature. And your vol seems to be contracting a bit still very high in the bbwp riding that red line um okay so basically here's the story the bearish case is that you break this last low all right at the 39 dollar level if that happens i would expect to come down to the 3819 region get a bounce there but ultimately i think we would head back down to the lows at the 36 dollar region 
as you stay deep in the bearish control zone and your negative momentum on the histogram starts to increase again as your MACD uh, resumes its strong downside curvature and your BBWP stays riding that red line. <clears throat> Bullish case scenario. First of all, that you get back above this 100, of course. Now, you're going to have major resistance at the second POC, point of control in the VPVR. Also, where your 21 and your 50 are sitting as of now. Uh, but if you can break these, if you can break this right here, I would expect some sort of rejection at the 4166 region. But honestly, I think you could at least get back up to this high at the $43 region. Um, now, if you can break that high, that's when I'm thinking this was a bear trap. You know, maybe you go sideways and bart up. Uh, but if you can break this high on a four-hour closure, I think we would start to head up to this purple region at the $49 region. That's the bullish case. That's the extremely bullish case. I mean, basically, you need to break this last high, $43. You don't have a chance unless you break this POC point of control, the second POC on the VPVR and this 21 and the 50. Uh, bearish case. Oh, we already went over that. So, yeah, and if we break this last low at $36 region, I would expect us to come all the way back down, like we've been talking about, all the way down to the depths at the 28, possibly 50 region. Uh, yeah, and go deeper into the bearish control zone. I think if we do break this last low, I think we're going to get down there pretty quick. That would coincide with Bitcoin breaking the bottom of this range. And we're going to find out. Bitcoin's going to decide a lot for this market right now. Uh, so definitely pay attention to Bitcoin. Pay attention to Solana. Ethereum.